my god, I don't know why I'm feeling so nervous and so shy today. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself running late or procrastinating because you're lazy? Say no more. I got you. <laughs> so I came up with a list of um things that I usually do to keep me going, especially when I'm late or when I'm lazy. Okay, so let's get to it. So one thing you need to develop is a sleeping pattern. And what I recently discovered is um my phone has um bedtime section where you set um the time you want to be sleeping every day and then um 15 minutes before that time it will tell you to go to bed so that actually helps me because honestly i stay up so late just on instagram watching funny videos so yeah i think um having a certain bedtime will actually make you make your day more fast because you won't sleep late and you will actually wake up early because you've had enough time to rest another tip if you're running late would be to change your showering time yeah so if you if you've woken up at 10 and your class is at 11 bruh there's no time to shower there <laughs> there's no time to shower so what you should be doing is make sure you shower at night or if you have a bathtub if you want to like you know relax deep slow take it easy do your do your things in the night here yeah? make sure you shower so long at night you brush yourself so well like you just go in with a shower at night so that when it comes to morning time you just go over it quickly you don't have to take so much time in the shower another thing that has literally saved my life over the over my time in uni is planning my clothes the night before this usually goes a long way because imagine you've woken up late again you've woken up late here yeah? you don't even know what you're going to wear you haven't showered you haven't eaten you haven't done nothing and you still have time you don't even have time to look for your clothes here yeah? so by planning your clothes the previous night at least you'll have a rough idea of what to do you know you just come straight from the shower wear your clothes and bounce yeah so what i usually do is make sure that i plan my clothes um the night before and if you have um if you want to iron them instead of wasting time in the morning ironing them you could also just like lay your things i learned this in like body yeah because <laughs> you know we did have irons back then so yeah you put your clothes under your mattress okay not under the mattress really like under your sheet like you see the sheet the bed okay <laughs> you put your clothes under the bed and then sleep on them so by the time you're waking up in the morning your clothes are literally so flat and so smooth no creases and that will actually save you time It'll even save you money man instead of wasting there your electricity and tokens there just put your clothes under the bed the previous night so that when you wake up in the morning you just when you're making your bed you just grab your clothes wear them and bounce you know it saves a lot of time so after you're done with your showering and your clothes of course you're gonna want to do your makeup do some you know beat your face a little but then in the morning if you are running late there's no time to now start looking for your makeup all of it is in like that big bag of makeup brushes you can't even find anything that you need so one thing i discovered is that i have a small um i usually have a small um bag i don't have it right now but i have a small bag where i put like the necessities like my eyebrow pencil my mascara and my powder and my moisturizer that's all i need one time you just put it there so that once you're late you know you just grab your things quickly quickly beat your face for like five minutes and you're good to go and another hack would also be to pack your bag the previous night so that you can you know know what classes you have the next day you put your books ready you put your water ready so yeah i usually pack my backpack before the night before or my sling whatever i'll use that day so that it can save me time because you know in the morning sometimes you can be switching bags and then you forget your id and then you'll reach the gate where those guards will act like they've never seen you but you've been passing that every day and even saying hi to them and then that one day you won't carry your id trust me they will tell you to go back to printer to do spreadsheet i don't know but anyway yeah i'm straying away from the story but yeah you should make sure that you pack your bags the night before okay so now next up we're gonna move to like breakfast time and of course you have to also eat in the morning so what you need to do is of course if you're running late here yeah, you also can go to class hungry and if you do not have time to like start whipping some oatmeal or some baked beans in the morning what you can do is once you're running to the shower make sure you always have some um water in your kettle i make sure that I, I have my water in my kettle in like the previous night before yeah so i usually like leave my kettle there for the night and then when i wake up in the morning once i'm going to the shower to shower <laughs> 
so yeah once i'm going to shower i make sure like i turn on the kettle so that you know my water is already getting hot and then once i come out you know it's already off i pour my water in the glass or a cup or whatever and then i put my green tea in it and then once i'm getting ready i'm wearing my clothes the tea is also getting cold so like you know you've killed three birds with one stone on this next segment i'm gonna be talking about um my lazy day hacks what i do to make sure that i stay up and freshing and make sure that i get things done when they're supposed to be done so the first thing you'd want to do on a cold saturday morning would be to snooze your alarm for like five minutes but trust me that's a dangerous game to play do not do not ever hit your snooze button because trust me you will wake up like five hours later that happens to me so many times <laughs> So one thing that would actually keep you going in the morning would maybe be listening to some silent motivation when you wake up. That would actually like make you more alive and alert. Or you could switch to maybe working out in the morning, you know, to keep your glow on. You'd be more fresh, your body would be active. Or like for me, I actually started doing some yoga recently. So once I wake up in the morning and do my yoga stretches, I feel more in tune with my body, I feel more alive, and then you have that natural glow, so you're ready to seize the day, yes! And then maybe let's say um, you've already done your morning stretches, you've already like woken up, you've listened to some motivation, maybe if it's some music you've listened to, you know, you've already gotten up but you still feel sleepy, you could open your window, <laughs> you could... <laughs> You could open your windows just to bring in some liveliness in the room, bring in some fresh air, you know, make sure that it's not stuffy and warm. Because, you know, once you're in the room and it's all cozy and warm, you'd be tempted to go back to sleep. So one thing I usually love doing is opening my windows. And once I do that, I also make sure that I drink some water in the morning, like maybe two glasses just to keep my body, you know, alert and alive. Another hack would actually be to plan your day before it actually happens because that will actually set your mind straight and make you know you know you're actually supposed to do things. So what I usually love doing is um I write my day how how I want to spend it and the things I want to accomplish by the end of the day. So I write them down, you know, I could revise for week nine, do this, do this, do that, and make sure that you know by the end of the day, if I've managed to do them, I will tick them off, and that will actually make me like move forward other than just you know sitting wasting time lazing around oh i almost forgot yeah so when it comes to like doing my chores i make sure that i put a playlist so that it can get me going so that once i'm cleaning you know it's not you don't want it to be so boring because once it's so quiet you're just there washing dishes mopping you'll feel you you feel tempted to you know go to your phone make good snapchat a little text a little and then time will just go and you won't have done anything so one thing that usually helps me is making sure that i have a playlist to like sing along to and dance along to and it makes me like get my work done faster this last hack actually saves me so much time because um usually when i'm let's say i'm doing my assignments here and my phone is there on of course i'll get distracted by the notifications i want to maybe take a snap do this do this so one one thing that I usually do is make sure I turn off my Wi-Fi, I turn off my phone, okay not turn it off completely but I put it on airplane mode so that it'll be dead for like a while, no notifications will come through so I will actually have time to sit down and complete what I need to and that usually helps me. Come to the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video, bye!